What's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? This is your boy Reg here, and the album I am about to review this morning would be um, Two Shorts. I want to say his seventh studio album, Shorty the Pimp, released in 1992 on Jive Records. Um, singles albums known for are give me one second, pull up singles. I want to be free. That's the truth. In the trunk, and. I also want to say So You Want to Be a Gangster, but that was also, you know, on the Juice soundtrack, so, you know, which is a soundtrack I really need to get to this day. Um, producers include Too Short, excuse me, Too Short, Ain't Banks, and Dwayne Wiggins of um, Tony, Tony, Tony fame. And, you know, guest appearances, of course, include Dwayne Wiggins, Ant Banks, and Pooh Man and Goldie. All right, so, give me one quick second. Sorry about that. But yeah, excuse me. Um, So, right after the release of Short Dogs in the House, you know, you know, he was still going with a lot of popularity, but he was kind of going through some shit at the same time, too. In 1991, he actually got in a car accident and stuff like that. And what ended up happening was one of the, t the team that was driving the car, he was driving on the wrong side of the road, and him and Tucho crashed on a head-on collision. Short Dog, you know, he escaped through minor injuries and whatnot, but the team died. And also, you know, it was crazy because Short Dog, you know, he had some lick in his system. He was speeding. I don't, I don't, they said he didn't have no license or insurance. And so, what ended up happening was, you know, he got through minor injuries and then he got arrested for the crime. But it was later proven that he was not in fault but at the same time, you know, they think they put him on, like, um, probation because he was beating and whatnot. And he had to pay, like, a million dollars. He had to pay a million dollars, like, to the victim's family and whatnot, too. So, yeah, that's crazy. Um, also, what, also um, around this time, too, he was working with this rapper named Pooh Man and shit like that, a.k.a. MC Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear or whatever you want to call it. And Pooh Man, he had this song from... The Funky As I Want to Be album, which, bar none, West Coast classic. A lot of people, a lot of people have said it's a West Coast classic and whatnot. And he had this song called, I think it was called Rashia Rashia, with Ant Banks and Too Short. Now, um, what ended up happening was, excuse me, what ended up happening was the girl that they were talking about on the song, ended up suing Pooh Man because of the fact you know it was his album, but. Pooh Man, you know, he said that Short Dog and Banks, he felt like they didn't look out for him because they all knew the girl and whatnot. And believe it or not, that was what kind of planted the seeds for, like, the Too Short or the Pooh Man versus the Dangerous Crew Reef, which I'm going to talk more about that once I review the next album. So, yeah. So, all this shit going through Short Dog's head, you know, album kind of took on a more darker approach, to say the least, so... Yeah, man, this is um, too short with um, Shorty the Pimp. Um, one more thing I got to say about this album. Do not get, like like a lot of too short albums, never get the clean version. But with this one, don't get the clean version because instead of just saying Shorty the Pimp, it's going to say Shorty the Player. Because, you know, I never really knew that pimp was a bad word, but it is what it is. Give me one more thing. And if y'all can hear the music in the background, this um, song I'm playing in the background is called Step Daddy off the album. So, all right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, that brings me to this album right here. Very dope album cover right here. You know, with Short Dog pimping out these fucking ugly ass prostitutes and whatnot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, some of these prostitutes, man, this look like, oh my God. Damn, but. Yeah, so this is the fucking cover, of course. And I got the vinyl playing in the background. This is the back cover right here. Alright. So this album got about 
11 tracks, so we're going to get this shit started. Track number one is pretty much the intro called Intro Short of the Pimp. Very dope intro. And the reason why I say it because, like, if you watch, like, a lot of black exploitation movies, black exploitation movies at the 70s, like, you know, Shaft or Sweet Sweet Bass Badass Song or whatnot, Sweet Sweet Bass Badass Song and shit, you always have that one deep voice nigga in, the, like, the black exploitation, like, narrating this whole fucking shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I got the vibe from the intro. So, intro short of the pimp, very dope intro, which leads into In the Trunk. In the Trunk, basically one of my favorite two short songs of all time. And yes, this was the first song that was played in um, Black Panther and shit. This was the first song that was played on Black Panther. So, yeah. All right, so what I got from In the Trunk is pretty much like a one verse song where he's talking about, um, he's basically talking about like a lot of things like, how he came up in a rap game and how like motherfuckers were oversampling like James Brown and again to oversample like um George Clinton and shit like that. You got he was just going in on this track. You know, very dope and also a very dope video too. Um some of my favorite lines was him saying, um I made seven whole albums with no James Brown, and even though I love his music, I just can't stand the way they use it. I, the way they use it all up and didn't pay the man. And after two platinum albums, you call me weak because I don't sell records in the East. Now what's funky? I say pussy on an old hoe. I guess your fools don't know. Or some good rappers can't sell no tapes. It's not the company's fault. The shit sounds fake, like. And that's that's some real shit too, you know, because you know back in that time. Originality is what really counted. Uh, originality is what really counted and stuff like that back in the game and shit like that. Now these days, it's mostly based on like social media trends and whatnot, which that's another story for a different day. But in the trunk, definitely a very dope track right there. Love this track. Um, track number three, hoes. No wait, I'm I'm sorry. Track number two. I mean, look, track number taking track number three, but they didn't list the intro as the first track with this. So, track number three, I Ain't Nothing But A Dog. Um, you know, pretty much vintage, too short, you know, on his braggadocious sex rhyme shit like that. Um, yeah, pretty dope track right there, pretty dope. Track number three, Hoes. You would think out of, you would think it would take up to this album for him to actually have a song called Hoes, but. Yeah, this one, again, just like I Ain't Nothing But A Dog, he's just talking about warning niggas about the different hoes. That he's encountering this shit like that, and how you should watch it back with these tricks and shit like that, gold diggers and whatnot. Um, some lines he had said was, "If a hoe wanna fuck you, she got to pay. Keep the bitch broke and control the world, cause when hoes get rich, they call them call girls. Now ain't nothing like a neighborhood trampy. And ain't nothing like a neighborhood trampy slut. Who is it?" Sorry about that, but sh yeah, just to repeat those last three lines. Um, cause when hoes get rich, they call them call girls. Now ain't nothing like a neighborhood trampy slut. Take a hoe to a spot and let her lick these nuts. Like, fucking short dog, man. He's fucking prime around this time and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I have to say, like, so far, like, this has got to be some of the best concepts he's ever had in this fucking album and shit. But I'm gonna get more into that in a minute. Um, track number four, No Love from Oakland. Um, very dope track, I'll say, but I kind of felt like some of his rhymes were a little all over the place and shit, because the song was pretty much like eight minutes long, and yeah, it's a very cool track, I love the beat and everything, Ant Banks did his thing on the beat, um, like he was just talking morning niggas about, morning niggas about like the streets of Oakland and shit like that, I personally felt it was a bit too long, but I understand where he was going with it, you know what I'm saying, um, so that's, um, No Love from Oakland. Track number, next track, um, I Wanna Be Free, That's The Truth. Pretty much my favorite song off this album. And of course, this was, and of course, this was another single and shit like that. Um, 
one thing I got from this track was like he's just wanting people it's a very different track from Too Short well not not too different not too different to say the least cause he's kinda tackled like police brutality before but but this one is like head on and shit you know what I'm saying so very dope track it uses the famous Ohio player sample which is a song that I've recently reviewed and shit like that recently so go and check that out um yeah very dope track and shit some of my favorite lines was like got my partners from Oakland doing serious time you can't argue with the truth it's hard to be black but it's a mind game you gotta deal with that I wake up every day and I just can't wait to make more money cause back in the days when I rapped I did the same damn thing I do now. Grab the microphone and show you how. But I was broke. The only thing I had was game. I started making money and new things would change like. Very dope track. Very dope track. And there's actually a very cool Yo MTV rap performance and shit of that track too. So go ahead and peep, peep that shit. I'll actually post that in the background in the description too if I find it. Um, Next track. Hoochie. Featuring Dwayne Wiggins of Tony Tony Tony. I love I love Dwayne Dwayne Wiggins Tony 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 and shit, but this is pretty much one of my least favorite songs off this album and shit like that. Reason reason why I say that's based on the chorus, like Hoochie, wanna be a hoochie. I like the song, but that chorus, I just don't like the fucking chorus. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like the fucking chorus of that song and shit, but yeah uh, next track Step Daddy again a pretty solid song right there just another sex rap track by um Short Dog and shit you know what I'm saying then the next track we're gonna come into um It Don't Stop which is a very dope track It Don't Stop is just talking about um Sorry about that. Sorry about that, but yeah. So it don't stop. That's um pretty much um the next track off this album and shit like that. Just a braggado, best a braggadocio track from Short Dog Note. Um, one of my favorite lines when he says, "Pack up your raps and join a dangerous crew. We got more beat than the average Joe in a 24 track studio. So forget what you heard. Oh, wait, we'll see it on Oakland, California. Can't leave me alone." I just love the way he was fucking flowing on that track. Um, and then we're going to get into So You Want to Be a Gangster. Yeah, this was the track from the um, Juice soundtrack and shit like that. Very dope movie. Everyone knows that movie and shit like that. Um, another Again, another dark commentary track from Too Short where he's talking about the ill wills of you know, inner city life and shit like that and how motherfuckers get caught up in that gang life. You know, this song always reminded me of, you know, Tupac Shorty Wanna Be a Thug off the um All Eyes on Me album, which very dope, very dope album and shit like that. And I just always felt like it reminded me. I, I don't know, I probably Pac was influenced by Short Dog with this track, but yeah, very dope track. So you wanna be a gangster. Track number five, something to ride to, featuring um Ant Banks, Pooh Man, and Mashani, aka Goldie. Um. Yeah, this is pretty much like the posse cut, the Daniel Street posse cut right here. Um, in my personal opinion, Ant Banks had the best verse off this track. He he never gets the props he gets I mean, when it comes to like producing, actually producing and being a dope MC too and shit. So he never gets that props alone for that. Um, some of my favorite lines was when he says, "And while the niggas keep jocking, I be." And while the niggas keep jocking, I be scoping all the fine ass freaks of Oakland. That's where I reside and where I always will be. The city of killers, dope dealers, and still we chill like players and act like pimps, mack all hoes and slap all simps. Like, yeah, man, niggas just going in and shit like that. I always fuck with Ant Banks. I need to get my hands on that Do or Die album from '95 though. That shit, 
That shit is so fucking slept on. But it's out of print too, so. But yeah, um, they, they all did the thing, but Aunt Banks did his thing on this one. And so like the last, I think like the last couple of half of the album is just a fucking beat and shit like that. So yeah, man, very dope track, something to ride to. And then we get into Extra Dangerous Thanks, which pretty much like a thank you track. You know how people give shout outs and shit. So yeah, that's all of the songs off this album. Overall, this is a very, very, very dope album and shit like that. Um, one of Two Short's best albums, in my personal opinion. Because, you know, um, people like to say Life is Too Short, um, Born to Mac. But I just feel like, me me personally, his stuff post Life is Too Short was always be my favorite. Like, And we're getting to some of my favorite Too Short, too short albums and shit. Uh, I just definitely felt like he stepped his pain game. He started talking about like a lot of different shit with this album instead for the usual... Oh, Pimpin and Players and shit like that and Biatch, whatever you want to call it and shit. But yeah, man, he definitely did his thing with this album. The only track I really probably did not care for was Hoochie, but everything else was pure fire. Lyricism was dope. Everything was going great for this album and shit. Um, and so actually last year they actually reissued this album on vinyl too. So if you guys can find this album, me get a copy of it. So yeah. This is Too Short, Short the Pimp, 1992. Must have in your collection. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all click that subscribe button and like it. Peace.